What's up you guys, ThriftPCQ here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the process of what I do after I make a sale all the way up to sending it to the post office. So stay tuned, you won't be pissed. So I got a request from one of my followers by the name of Billsdom, and they wanted me to go through my process of what I do after I make a sale from the time I get the email saying that I got my item sold to packing the item to putting in the information of the item to get my label and sending it off to the post office which is just the gist of it really and it, it's honestly it's really straightforward so I'll go through the process right now Okay, so when I make the sale, uh, usually I'll log into my account. First off, you're gonna get an email letting you know that you made the sale. So you can usually click on that link to take you directly to your eBay account. But if I'm already logged in, generally you'll see a light or a circle beside the bell and it'll tell you to, to ship the item right away. So this specific one, I have three items here that I have to ship off. So I'll go through the process of uh, how I'm shipping off one of them for you. So let's go ahead and click on this one. Okay guys, here's the first item I need to ship out here. It's the uh, Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees action figure I sold for $65.99. And what I'll be doing here is I will be clicking on the link here that says print shipping label. So I'll go ahead and click on that right now. Okay, so after I click on that, it's going to direct me to this part of the site or it will direct me to the Shippo site. So I'll go ahead and click on the link that says go to Shippo site. Okay, so from here, I'm going to be putting the information so I can get this shipped out and get my rate. So I will put in the dimensions and this is what I do to get my dimensions. All right, guys, so I have the item in the box now and I taped it all up here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this bad boy. So the length for this item is exactly 35 centimeters. 35. I don't know if you can see it. 35. Which is almost 14 inches. Okay, and then the width is 21 centimeters or eight and a quarter inches. And now the height, which is this part, 12 centimeters, almost five inches. All right, so now I'm gonna put my dimensions into Shippo here. So you'll see the length, it was 35. The width is 21 and the height is 12. Now let's go ahead and weigh it. Now, the way I weigh it right now is, uh, I usually have a, a bigger scale with me, but because I'm in this uh, room here, I'm gonna use this little scale that I have right here, which you can probably find in Walmart or something or Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below for it if you wanna get this little one here. But I mean, it does the job. Uh, it'll tell me exactly how much it is. And so let's, uh, I'll show you exactly how I weigh it. So I just turned it on now. It's showing a zero under the grams and I'm gonna place the box on there now. Okay, so you'll see the weight is exactly 523 grams. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that into the Shippo site here. I'll just put it in grams here, 523 grams. And then after that, I'm going to select my shipping rate. Now, if you want to add a signature confirmation, I mean, it's totally up to you, but I generally don't. Um, it's really no need. I mean, the person may not be even be there too. So um, probably, I usually don't do that. Okay, so now I'm going to put that into the Shippo site here. I'll just put it in grams here. 523 grams. And then after that, I'm going to select my shipping rate. Now, if you want to add a signature confirmation, I mean, it's totally up to you, but I generally don't. Um, it's 
really no need. I mean, the person may not be even be there too. So um, probably, I usually don't do that. So use customs declaration. I mean, you can probably use that if you're gonna be sending it to uh, like outside of Canada, but when you're in Canada, it's not required. So I usually just put residential recipient and I'll put on, uh, now I'll select, select shipping rates. Okay, so here is my shipping rates for Canada Post for six days is 1788. For Canada Post expedited parcel is 1883. Express Post is 34 and priority is 53, which I'm definitely not doing. So um, the buyer already chose the expedited parcel, which is 1883, which is actually a cent of what the uh, suggested amount was. So I'll go ahead and click on buy label. Okay, and that's it. So now all I need to do now is click on download label and it's gonna open up the label. Now I'm not gonna show the picture of the label itself just cause it has the buyer's information in it. But I mean, you get the gist of what it, a label would look like. It's basically a barcode with the postal code and the buyer's address. And then at the bottom is my address followed by my information as well. So all you have to do is cut that in half and tape the side on the right onto your box. And then the other side you keep because that one has the tracking number. So whenever you need to take a look at the tracking number uh, and on the Canada Post site, you can just reference the number and it'll tell you exactly the tracking. But you don't necessarily need to do that too actually. You can go onto your eBay account and you'll actually see a button to check the tracking as well. And that automatically gives you the status of where it's at right at that time. So I, I usually use it that way. It's a lot easier, but I mean, for your reference, keep the tracking number as well. Um, I keep it with uh, a whole bunch of other tracking numbers with me. All right guys, so I just printed out the label and I'm just gonna cut it out right now. Okay, snipping complete. Again, you have two sheets, one for the tracking and the actual label. So get this label, tape it on to your box. Okay, so the label is taped up to my package now and I'm ready to take it to the post office. All right, I got my packages. I'm gonna take them to the post office now. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the process of me creating the label from the time I get the sale all the way to sending it to the post office. So um, if you like the video and you like these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Um, and again, I appreciate every time you guys come over and watch my videos. It means so much to me. And with that said, this is Thrift BCQ signing out.